The graying enigma, a universal sign of time. Few sights are as evocative of time's passage as a strand of gray hair. It's a phenomenon that transcends cultures, a subtle reminder of the relentless march of time. We watch our parents' hair turn silver, then notice the first telltale strands in our own reflections. But have you ever stopped to wonder what causes this transformation? Why does our hair, once vibrant and full of color, gradually fade to shades of gray and white? Our hair color isn't merely a superficial trait, it's a complex expression of our genetic makeup, influenced by the intricate workings of tiny cells and chemical processes happening beneath our scalp. Understanding these processes can help us appreciate the science behind graying hair, dispel common myths, and even explore ways to manage this natural aspect of aging. In the following sections, we will delve deeper into the captivating world of melanin, explore the factors that contribute to hair graying, and uncover the science behind this universal symbol of time's passage. So join me as we unravel the graying enigma, strand by fascinating strand. Melanin, the pigment of our palette. Melanin, derived from the Greek melas, meaning black or dark, is the pigment responsible for giving color to our skin, hair, and eyes. It's produced by specialized cells called melanocytes, which reside in the basal layer of our epidermis. These microscopic factories churn out melanin in two primary forms, eumelanin, which imparts brown and black hues, and pheomelanin, responsible for red and yellow tones. The specific blend of these pigments determines our unique hair color. Dark hair contains higher concentrations of eumelanin, while lighter shades result from lower levels of this pigment. Red hair gets its fiery hue from a predominance of pheomelanin. Our hair color is a delicate balance of these pigments, an intricate recipe passed down through generations. Melanin acts as our body's natural sunscreen, absorbing harmful ultraviolet UV radiation from the sun and protecting our skin cells from damage. Understanding melanin is crucial to comprehending the science of graying hair. As we age, the production of melanin within our hair follicles begins to decline, leading to a gradual loss of pigment and the emergence of gray or white hair. Melanocytes, the artists of our hair follicles. Now that we understand the role of melanin, let's meet the artists behind the scenes melanocytes. These specialized cells reside in the hair follicle, nestled among the rapidly dividing cells that give rise to our hair shafts. Picture them as tiny paintbrushes, diligently delivering melanin to the keratinocytes, the cells that form the structural component of our hair. As new hair cells are generated at the base of the follicle, melanocytes inject these cells with granules of melanin. The type and amount of melanin transferred determine the color of the burgeoning hair shaft. Darker hair results from a steady supply of melanin, while lighter shades indicate a more frugal distribution. However, unlike other cells in our body, melanocytes have a limited lifespan and a finite capacity for replication. As we age, their numbers dwindle, and their melanin production gradually declines. This gradual depletion of color manifests as our hair turns shades of gray and eventually white. Age and the slow decline of pigment power. The most significant factor influencing hair graying is undoubtedly time. As we age, our bodies undergo a myriad of changes, and the pigment-producing machinery within our hair follicles is no exception. While the exact age at which gray hair emerges varies widely, influenced by genetics and other factors, the process generally begins between our late 20s and early 40s. For most individuals, the first signs of graying appear as a few stray strands, often around the temples or the crown of the head. Over time, these silver strands become more numerous, eventually outnumbering their pigmented counterparts. One theory behind age-related hair graying points to oxidative stress. This process involves the buildup of harmful molecules called free radicals, which can damage cells and impair their function. Melanocytes, being particularly susceptible to oxidative stress, may lose their ability to produce melanin efficiently as we age. Section 5, Genetics, the blueprint of our hair color destiny. While age is a primary driver of hair graying, our genes play a significant role in determining when this transition begins and how it progresses. Just like our eye color and height, our predisposition to graying is encoded within our DNA passed down from one generation to the next. Scientists have identified specific genes that influence hair color and the timing of graying. For example, the gene IRF4 has been linked to hair graying in European populations, while other genes are believed to influence melanin production and transport within hair follicles. If your parents or grandparents went gray prematurely, there's a higher chance you might too. 
Conversely, if your family tree boasts a lineage of vibrant hair well into their golden years, you might inherit their delayed graying genes. Think of your genes as a blueprint, providing a general framework for your hair color destiny. While this blueprint influences the likelihood of graying, environmental factors and lifestyle choices can influence the timing and progression of this natural process. Section 6. Stress. Can it really turn our hair gray? The notion that stress can turn your hair gray overnight is a popular trope in literature and film. While the visual of someone's hair turning white with worry might make for a dramatic scene, the reality is a bit more nuanced. There's no scientific evidence to suggest that stress can cause sudden and dramatic hair graying. However, chronic stress can contribute to hair loss and potentially accelerate the graying process. When we experience stress, our bodies release hormones like cortisol, which can disrupt various bodily functions, including hair growth. Prolonged stress can lead to a condition called telogen effluvium, where hair follicles prematurely enter a resting phase, causing hair to shed more easily. While stress-induced hair loss is usually temporary, it can contribute to a thinner and potentially grayer appearance over time. Think of stress as a disruption to the hair growth cycle, potentially leading to hair shedding and a temporary shift in color. Section 7. Nutrition's Role in Hair Health and Color The adage you are what you eat holds true for our hair health and color as well. A balanced and nutritious diet provides the building blocks for healthy hair growth and supports the optimal function of melanocytes, the pigment-producing powerhouses within our hair follicles. Several vitamins and minerals play crucial roles in maintaining hair pigmentation. Vitamin B12, found in meat, poultry, and dairy products, is essential for cell growth and division, including the production of new hair cells. Deficiencies in vitamin B12 have been linked to premature graying. Copper, another essential mineral, is involved in the production of melanin. Good sources of copper include shellfish, nuts, and seeds. Adequate intake of copper ensures that melanocytes have the necessary raw materials to produce melanin efficiently. Beyond genetics and the natural aging process, certain lifestyle choices can influence the rate at which our hair turns gray. Smoking, for instance, has been linked to premature graying. The harmful chemicals in cigarette smoke can damage hair follicles, impairing their ability to produce melanin effectively. Exposure to environmental pollutants can also contribute to oxidative stress, which, as we discussed earlier, can damage melanocytes and hinder their pigment-producing abilities. Protecting your hair from excessive sun exposure, pollution and harsh chemicals can help preserve its natural color for longer. By making healthy lifestyle choices and minimizing exposure to damaging agents, we can potentially slow down the graying process. Maintaining a healthy weight, managing stress levels, and getting enough sleep can all contribute to overall well-being, which reflects on our hair health and appearance. While understanding the science behind graying hair might not halt the process entirely, it can empower us to manage our expectations and explore ways to embrace or delay this natural transition. For those seeking to camouflage the signs of time, hair dyes offer a temporary but effective solution. From permanent dyes that completely alter hair color to semi-permanent options that gradually fade with each wash, there's a wide array of products available to suit individual preferences. However, it's important to be aware that frequent chemical processing can damage hair, leading to dryness, breakage, and further color changes. Beyond dyeing, there are other ways to embrace gray hair. Many individuals choose to rock their silver strands, viewing them as a badge of honor, a testament to a life well lived. As our understanding of hair pigmentation deepens, scientists are exploring innovative approaches to managing gray hair ranging from novel hair dyes to potential treatments that target the root cause of melanin decline. Researchers are investigating ways to stimulate melanin production within hair follicles, potentially reversing or delaying the graying process. Some studies suggest that certain antioxidants and plant extracts might hold promise in protecting melanocytes from damage and promoting pigment production. Furthermore, advancements in gene editing technologies raise the possibility of manipulating the genes responsible for hair color. While such applications are still in their infancy and raise ethical considerations, they hint at a future where we might have greater control over our hair color destiny. Imagine a future where we could replenish our hair's natural pigment, much like refilling an ink cartridge. Ultimately, 
Whether we choose to embrace our gray hair or conceal it, understanding the science behind this natural process allows us to approach it with knowledge and acceptance. Graying hair is not a sign of decline but a testament to a life lived, a reflection of the experiences that have shaped us. Instead of viewing gray hair as something to dread or hide, perhaps it's time to celebrate it as a symbol of wisdom, resilience, and the beauty of aging gracefully. Just as a fine wine improves with age, so too can our perspective on the natural transitions in our lives. Let's challenge the societal norms that equate youthful appearance with beauty and embrace the uniqueness and individuality of our evolving hair color. Gray hair after all is not just a change in pigmentation but a reflection of a life well lived, a tapestry woven with threads of experience, wisdom and grace.